Hello, and welcome to today's episode of the Best Gundam Models period, where today we'll be looking at the Avatar of Kane from Warhammer 40k. And th this model was purchased from Amazon.com because it was $25 cheaper than the standard price. Standard price at the time was $110. I paid $85. Was this guy worth it? Well, stay tuned and find out. The first thing we are going to take a look at is the instruction guide, which is pretty big. It came in a pretty big box. It was one large runner. Uh, it went together fairly easily, although there was a tricky step. As you can see, the color guide was is full color. Blue indicating steps you have completed and yellow, orange indicating steps you will complete. This part here was pretty tricky. Getting it at the front of his body on uh, you have to kind of force it on. Uh, don't have to use too much force. It, it's just a, a little tricky to get aligned properly. But other than that, it went together pretty well. I did break his top knot when I was assembling him. S top knot here. Well, not when I was assembling, but when I was painting, I broke it. I uh, put a little too much pressure and it came off. But it was an easy fix, it was a clean break. I was able to just use some super glue, drill the hole, put it, put in a metal pin, and it's fine now. You can't even tell that it was broken. You wouldn't even know if it was, it was broken unless I told you, and I just did. I did keep the head separate for easier painting because uh, his hair comes down and covers part of his back and I wouldn't be able to get get in there with a paintbrush. So, as far as the paint job, well the model as you can see is very very detailed. He's got all these little dangly bits with different Eldar symbols. He's from the Eldar faction. They're basically space elves, and Cain is one of their gods. Uh, he's got the blood dripping from the hand. Just lava cracks in his skin. Just a very nicely detailed model. He was a joy to paint. Uh, it wasn't too hard to paint because I followed the Duncan Rhodes painting tutorial on YouTube. There will be a link to that in the description. Also, Citadel paints, I use Citadel paints exclusively on this model. Well, except for the gems, I, I use Shining Silver by the Army Painter. Uh, but other than that, it was exclusively Citadel paints. White Scar is a pain to work with. Uh, it's got a chunky consistency, and it's very hard to get a smooth coat with it. Uh, just, just use Matte White by the Army Painter. Now it's time for size comparisons. We're going to start off with your heavy Primaris Intercessor. So the Avatar of Kane is quite a big model for Warhammer. Uh, he's about the same size as a 4-inch G.I. Joe figure, which I do have a collection of those. Here's Primaris Mephiston. Here is a Leviathan Siege Dreadnought. And just because I have it handy, and for you gunpla collectors out there, there is the HGUC Efreet Custom. And there you have it. 
That's the avatar of Cain in a nutshell. Uh, it's very nicely detailed. It does come with two weapon options and two head options. Two other head options and two other weapon options. Uh, I'll show them to you here. I went with the spear and the bear head because I thought they were the coolest. But uh, You also get an axe, a sword, kind of a Greek style helmet, and you get the traditional helmet with the really large plume and the ears coming off the side. Uh, I, I really recommend this deal if you got, or this model, if you got the dough. Uh, I got a good deal on it. So it, it was definitely worth it for me. It was an absolute joy to paint. Even if you don't play Warhammer and you're just a modeler and you like painting, get this model. You, you won't regret it. Please like, subscribe, and share this video. And uh, I leave you off with some photos and some music. This song is called Into the Darkness.